Hi guys, welcome back to another investigation. Paranormal past life investigations. I'm Ricky. I'm here to bring you. Just checking my equipment, sorry. Lights falling off. I'm here to bring you Heath Village Water Tower, which is what you see here. It's getting a bit dark now, so we're in West Yorkshire, a few miles out of Wakefield. This water tower is supposed to have uh, been part of the old Heath Hall, which is, I think, I believe, is a ruin up the hill here from somewhere. I don't know where it is. I haven't found that yet. But it's uh, part of the old Heath Hall, and this. Uh, Water tower used to supply that. <clears throat> As the story goes, the story goes that Dame Mary Bowles lived in the in the house in the hall. Uh, this dates back to 1600s, by the way. This tower, uh, Dame Mary Bowles, died in 1662, and. The story goes, before she died, she wanted to be buried, as, well, not so much buried, but sealed in her room, in the hall itself. Um, so her wish was granted, she was sealed in, her, in the room when she died. But 50 years later, after she died, the room was opened up and said that the ghost of Mary Bowles started to haunt the place and the ghost still is supposed to be still around today sometimes seen on the heathland around here in Heath Village it's supposed to have been spotted on the on the hill here and the surroundings so I'm getting bitten by gnats all over the bloody place on my neck so I'm trying to ignore it but it's a bit of a pain really. Anyway, the ghost has been seen in the area. I've never been here in the dark before. I've been in the daytime, I had a brief visit to the tower here. I don't know where this ruins of the old Heath Hall is. There is a new Heath Hall about maybe a quarter of a mile from here, which is over in that direction. I've come along a footpath here, Heath Hall and the rest of the village is over there. Uh, lots of old little buildings here, lovely little village really, but it is eerie. Um, so I'm going to go investigate this water tower. And it does feel a bit strange, but we'll see what I can pick up. I've got my recorder, K2 eater, and got some other little infrared devices here sensors and that so we we'll see what we can find but I feel a little bit on edge to tell you the truth but I think it should all, should all be okay we don't know until we get in there do we anyway I'll just show you it So yeah, this place was back, built back in the um, 1600s, so it's just a few years old. Hope you enjoy it guys. I'm just walking towards it now, through this bit of cornfield I believe. But as you can see it is uh, very spooky. I don't like them dark windows up there, do you? I keep thinking there's orbs flying about, but I think it's these little bugs, little gnats and stuff flying around, so I'd be 
think I've been bitten on my neck. <laughs> all good fun. All, all part of paranormal investigation, isn't it? Bugs and bats. Let me just get back down here. I'll show you a bit more around the outside, but it's just... A bit spooky. Just coming down here. Oh, you flies. Nightmare, aren't they? There we go. I might put my spotlight on for a minute. It's a bit dark in there, okay guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel, which has only been going just over a month now, I believe. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll leave comments below. I'm getting bit, but I think I must be feeding time for the gnats. Right. Leave a comment below if you see anything that I don't spot, or if I do spot it, still leave a comment. Just let, know, let us know what you think. I'm here alone. Oh, I thought I got touched on my neck then, but I think it's probably another bug. God. I just thought something touched my neck. They like going for my neck wherever I go, for some reason, but I don't know what that was. Could have been a moth or something. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to put the light on. See what's in here. Got the night vision on anyway. I maybe I'll just leave the night vision on for a minute. See what we pick up. Hello. I'll come here as a friend. Anybody here? What is that? I think they're bugs. I thought that was an orb hovering for a minute, but I think they were bugs. Yeah, bugs of some sort. I'll come here in peace and to investigate this tower. I believe there was the spirit of Dame Mary Bowles that haunts the land around here. Are you here with me now? Do you wish to communicate? I'd have clicked there. I don't know where because it's not that big in here. I'll put my spotlight on it so you, can, you guys can see up to the top of the tower there. Oh my god! Bloody pigeon! <gasps> it's gone a bit freaked out. Oh shit, that's all we need. The pigeons are at the top. <clears throat> okay. At least we've got them out of the way. I suppose it's better than bats, but I don't mind bats. I think I prefer bats to pigeons, to tell you the truth. Oh, that was a bit, that was a bit of a surprise to them flapping about. Oh, look at the pigeon crap on the wall. Oh no, it's not. Scratches, I think. And a bit of moss. Anyway. I think I might be running out. I'll do a quick video anyway. I might be running out of them. I don't believe it. I'll just put this battery in. Just put this battery in, guys. Oh dear, it's blinding. And it's going already. It's very limited on the battery, so. Anyway, pigeon's still flapping. <sighs> Is there a spirit in there? Dame Mary Bowles. Also, guys, I'll tell you, let you know that um, she did dabble in witchcraft as well. So, hope nothing negative happens. You don't really want that. And there's a lot of junk in the bottom of there. Not a lot to see there. The old water running through there still from the natural spring that is under this ground here on the hill. And around it. So there's a natural spring water coming through. What was that? What was that? I 
That's water trickling, I think. Yeah, I think it's water sounds up in there. I wonder what it was. I thought it came from that corner. Anyway. Quick video of this. There's a lot of rubbish come down. A lot of this has probably come down from up there. Somewhere up there. Oh, I think my battery's going to die. I might have to... Might have to stop this video and swap batteries. Let's get out of here. A bit more room. As you see, it's getting dark now. Catch you in a minute, guys, because I have to change the battery, I think. So, I'll let you know what happens in the meantime. Catch you soon. Welcome back guys. Paranormal Past Life Investigations. Another adventure. I did have a little bit of video running just now. I might add it onto this. I'm not too sure yet, but at the beginning. If you can't see it at the beginning... It's obviously the second part that I put on because my battery drained really quick when I got here. It's I'm um, at the Heath Water Tower in Heath Village, just outside Wakefield in West Yorkshire. Built in the 1600s. Um, and supposedly Dame Mary Bowles, who lived in Heath Old Hall. Old Heath Hall, I should say. This was the water tower that supplied it. And she died in 1662. Just before she died, she was asked to be sealed in a room. Sorry if I've heard all this earlier on the other video, but I'm putting it on now just in case it's not added. But she died in 1662, asked to be sealed in a room beforehand, obviously, and... 50 years on from her death, someone opened that door and unsealed it. And since then, the, the ghost of her has been seen on the old ruins of the old Heath Hall, which is somewhere up on the hill, which I've never found yet. There is another Heath Hall here that has been built. Maybe it's been built over it, I'm not too sure, on original grounds. But her ghost is supposed to haunt this land and all around it. I'm getting bitten in all sorts here by little gnats and stuff. Should should be good fun. Anyway. So I hope we're gonna pick up on Dame Mary Bowles. She did dabble in witchcraft, I believe. I've read. Um so we could be in for a bit of fun. I'm only doing a short video here. It is very eerie, very eerie indeed. It's a bit first time I've been here in the dark so I'll have a quick scoot around this side and show you a bit more of it as it is getting on the dark side now as you can see I'm surrounded by fields pretty much on the own out here so it'll probably be like a 30 minute challenge alone in the dark. That's what you can see now. So I hope this battery don't die. But the other one lasted about five minutes and it was charged and it went dead pretty much straight away. I was only just inside the tower and the battery one night started flashing so that weren't much good was it? So I just hope this one lasts a bit longer. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I've only been going just over a month, so if you can, give us a bit of support, please. And stay tuned for more. Any, anything you see, if I don't spot it, or even if I do spot it, please leave it in the comments below. And um, let's see what we get. Hopefully we might pick up on something.
I'll get my K2 meter out as well. If the batteries haven't died on that, hopefully we'll be alright. I'm sure I've got it in my bag here. I think that's a plane you can hear in the back. Oh, a helicopter in the background. Uh, just sort of get round here in case it's police helicopter wondering what I'm doing here. It's a public footpath, so it should be fine anyway. Now let's get back round here. It's coming over this way. As you can see, very spooky round here. I'm not flying K2 at the moment. That's strange. Voice recorders in there. There's a voice recorder. That's a bit strange. I can't find my key to, and I'm sure I had it for me earlier. Anyway, a bit more in the tower. Oh, we got it. Okay, got the K2 here. Don't know if that's picking up or not. If anyone want to, wishes to communicate with me, I'm here as a friend. I'm not here to harm you. Come here with respect. If you want to communicate with this device here in my hand, if you can make the lights flash on it. Give us two, two lights, two lights or three lights, whatever. Make it flush right up into the red if you like. But just a couple of lights to start with if you can. If you, if you can do that, is it the spirit of Dame Mary Bowles? Are you here with me? I'm just going to go into the tower. Oh, it's really dark. We've got pigeons in here by the way because they they just start flapping about just now when I went in earlier on before the battery died on the other one. So let's go back in and have a look. I'll put the light on for a minute just to so I can see where I'm going really. It's rather than really on the RR light. Oh, so it's buzzing around my neck. I'll just put the light back on up here for you all to see again. That's the roof up there. See the pigeons up there. So if you're only flapping about, it's them buggers. So I come back down here. Uh, this is it. This is Heath Water Tower. I don't know where the workings were, but looks like the bad power I did at some point. What was that up there? I think it's a pigeon moving about. I heard a voice then. No, I don't know, I might be certain in the background. I think there's some something playing in the pub in the distance in the village that is coming over a bit. Drifting over here the sound a bit, so I don't know if you can hear that. That's the sound of the running water from the natural spring on this land. Oh, that's what that tripping sound is. I see running all through there and all that rubbish. I don't know what's well. I've never been over this bit, so let's go over here for a minute. I'll just hope I don't get crapped on by the pigeons. Well, it's even spookier from this side. Looking towards that door, I don't like that very much. <laughs> it just tickle my head. Probably a moth or something. Let's put the light back up there again. So you can see that. Turn it back down. Oh, Sorry about that. Something just come down and got my head. I don't know what it was. There's all sorts in there. Anyway. 
I'll leave this K2 here for a minute. See if anything reacts. Oh, we've got some flashing here. Oh, look at that, guys. Hello there. Oh my God, look at that. That's picking up. Thank you for that. Do I have a spirit of... Thank you. Keep doing that. There's no... There's no power sources here or... Anything else that can react with that. I'm too far away from it, really. Can you do that again, please? Give us some more lights. Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate that very much. Can you give us a name? Can you give us a name? We've ever just done that. Who are you? Are you a spirit of Dame Mary Bowles? If you are, can you make that flash again? Come here with respect, just to, just to say hello to you, really. Just get proof that you are still here. Around the tower and on the land. Make it flash again, please. Come on. Please do it again. Make it flash. I'm trying to find the recorder now. Much luck with that. Oh. Let's get that round there for a minute. I've got um, IR things there, detectors and all sorts. But I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this on this little device here. We'll get back up there for a that one nice. I'm going to put this little sensor down here. So if you want to walk through the door or past it in any way, in or out, that'll go off in a minute, guys. So hopefully, if you, you pigeons are moving about, if you walk past that in a minute, just to prove to here, it'll set that off. Hopefully that will go out in a minute. I've got it on the right setting. Can you make this K2 meter go off again? Right, that meter's gone off, so I can't believe this. I think that's going to... I'm not sure I've got enough recording time. I think everything's going wrong with this camera tonight. I'll have a quick scoot around anyway. I might have to come back another time. It could be running out of memory card now, that's all we need. Which is a bit strange. Come on, please communicate. Give us some sounds before I go. Show yourself. Show yourself as an orb. Anyway. I'll say bye for now, guys, because... It's pitch black in here with that light off. If it does run out, thanks for watching this short video, and I'll try and come back again and put a longer one on for you. Don't forget, please like and subscribe. I'm hearing rustling sounds behind me. I think it might be me now. But it is getting a bit spooky now. So, anyway, thanks for watching. It's a bit short and sweet, but. I think I'm having technical issues, issues with it all. Batteries going, now the memory card's messing about. I think we've got about three minutes, guys, so. Let's bit the K2 meter again. I'm gonna have to come back. I thought I saw a light up there then. Can you make this K2 meter go off again for me? That's gone off, I think that's me set that off. Come on, make the lights flash again like you did just now. Let me put it under there. We've got a couple of minutes left for this short video, I'm afraid. If you can make that flash, please do so again. Did you live in the old Heath Hall? I wish I'd visited that at some point. I knew where it was. I would like to visit. 
I can see something shining outside there, but I don't know what it is. I think it's something in some trash in the bush. Right, we've got about two minutes, guys, left on this this video. No more, I'm the K2 at the moment. Right, I'm gonna have to go soon. There's a shadow there. I think it's behind. Oh, there's a click behind me now. Right. I heard footsteps as well, aren't they then? Little fun and games are gonna start on that bunny. The card's about to run out, that's all I need. Okay, I'll turn this off. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I'll have to come back and do another one, but I'll put this on for now. There's some weird sounds out here. Heard some footsteps out here. So, thanks for watching guys. Just power on past life. About to go and leave this place, but we will be back again. So I'll give you this as a little taster for now, because I will be back for more. Okay, thanks for watching.